a lot of people traveling between the buildings here, now wearing masks for the first time uh, in a very, very long time. Remember, it was about 34 days ago that the Center for Disease Control, a U.S. agency, started telling all Americans to wear them. But there has been deep resistance here at the White House, and U.S. President Trump and Vice President Mike Pence have not been wearing masks as of today. In fact, we saw his press conference uh, out in the Rose Garden. Others were wearing masks, including uh, nearly all the reporters, but the U.S. president still won't wear one. He doesn't like the idea of wearing it. In fact, the U.S. president is being tested every day. Same with Vice President Mike Pence. But I can tell you that is not the case for all Americans. Uh, in fact, the U.S. president said, uh, if you want a test, uh, you can have one. And one of his health officials at that very same press conference said, actually, if you, want, if you need a test, you can have one. And there's a real uh, difference. But despite that, the U.S. president says the U.S. has prevailed when it comes to testing. The U.S. can actually test more people per capita than other countries. But it's been a long time coming. And he likes to compare himself to the Republic of Korea, South Korea. Well, they tested a lot earlier and a lot quicker and also have other uh, methods as well. But the U.S. Uh, testing is a, hundred, a few hundred thousand people a day. Health officials say it needs to be in the millions if people are going to have the assurity to go back to work. Despite that, uh, you know, we have over half the states now uh, pretty much reopening. Even uh, upstate New York is going to start reopening uh, on Friday with not enough testing and definitely results from testing and continuous testing in place. So it's going to be very interesting. You know, here in Washington, D.C., the mayor of Washington, D.C. is about to extend the stay-at-home order, which is due to expire on Friday. And the big question is, if the White House can't control COVID-19 within its own walls, how can the rest of the country, when it starts to reopen for business?